Hey, hey, hey. What's going on, everybody? Hey, something new. Actually, this is old. <laughs> Every bit of this is old. So I'm, I'm trying some things to uh, to see what I can do on my uh, my interactions between OBS and some of my games. So, uh, yeah, this really is nothing new. It's just kind of been revamped from where it was. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so it's good. So thanks, 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 y'all. Appreciate it. Glad you like the new intro screens. Zach, you'll you'll recognize it here in a minute. So what's up, everybody? John, good to see you, man. Ian as well. Da boom. Hello. Thank you there for resubbing up there. Uh, 14 months on the first gear, buddy. Appreciate that. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Popeye. Tech, good to see you guys. Zells. Jody, what's up, man? Papa Rock. Scott, Sven, how are you, buddy? Uh, yeah, this is a good yard. I actually do like this one. This is there, there was a couple of my favorites of his, but this was, yeah, this was definitely up there. Uh, what's up, Wonder? How are you, man? <clears throat> Bear, what's up, buddy? Mikey Pope. Uh, Mikey, how are you? New Gamer CJ, how are you, man? Master Dork, good to see you there. Jordan? Uh, yeah, well, not the updated one. It's just 389. Yeah, I figured, you know, we haven't driven one of those in like two days. So I figured people might want to see. <laughs> people might want to see it. <laughs> oh, it's funny, man. Uh, Anna, is that C? What is that? Syphilis? 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 Uh, yeah. Thank you there for the sub, man. Appreciate that as well, man. Uh, I saw that right before stream this so I want to make sure I give you a shout out there, man. Appreciate it, buddy. Um, and, uh, Mr. Humberto, what's up, man? Javaris, uh, Javaris, what's up? Snowman, Tyler Lark, Alex Brown, what's up? Island Crawler, good to see you guys. Daniel Russell, what's up, man? It's pronounced Sniffles. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's an L, not an I. <laughs> sniffles. That's got to get an SC out of SN is, uh, is Sniffles. All right. <laughs> Fair enough, man. One of my favorite modded 389. <laughs> um, it's it, No, it's not this one. It's not my favorite. Uh, Joel's would definitely be my first. Hey, what's up, Captain? Good to see you, man. I've seen you over there playing some X-Plane. I'm not sub to you on YouTube, so I would have gone in there and actually uh, sat down and chatted with you for a while, but you got subs only chat. So you take that mess off, man, so people can talk to you. So come in there and I might, I might send the Discord in there one day to come see you. I've done it before. I might do it again. K9, what's up? Ah. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you for the 10 super chat there, buddy. Appreciate it, man. When did I get a beer? Uh, 444 bat, I guess, since the last time you, did, you watched the stream. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's been a while, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It, it took took a few months to get things going, so. Uh, yeah, man, absolutely. Yeah, I enjoy it. I still, I still watch a lot of Flight Sim stuff, man. I still love it. Uh, just It's just hard to keep that up, plus many other Sims. It's just one of those sims that's really hard. Especially if you got a setup like this. It makes it really hard. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been a while. It's all right, 444. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. Amazing work. Thank you there, Tech. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Um, and uh, and thank you there, uh, Scott, man. Thanks for the tip on snapping trailers. Yes. Yeah, sometimes it's kind of like one of those things where I'm, I'm always afraid if I give you guys too many tips that it's going to ruin the game for you. Um, a lot of people got mad at me when the dev console video because it's like, well, it's ruining the game. And I'm like, well... <laughs> Like, what the heck? Just because you hop in a car don't mean you got to do 120 in it, you know? Got to be some, uh, you know, got to gotta be some respect given there so you don't completely ruin your time there. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, I am, Willie. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Levante, what's up, man? Uh, nice. Yes, discount. Uh, it still does work. And use it. That's right, man. That's right, K9. <laughs> there you go, there, Captain. <laughs> what's up, C-Pain? Good to see you guys, man. Uh, I've been jamming to this little uh, little hip hop action here, man. This is good. It's good stuff. Tell you what, Soundstripe, man, they're they're coming in clutch on the stuff. So hopefully we've been dealing with some stream issues. Hopefully tonight, um, you know, we'll do another test, um, see how things come across, and see if they look better or look smoother. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, I definitely got some things going on communication lines between uh, OBS and some new updates and stuff. So it may take some updates from them to fix it, but. Not exactly sure. Tempted at this point just to turn all the auto update stuff off. So if it's working, why screw up with it, you know? Um, well, what's up, man? This is good to see you, man. Trontasia's low. Dominic, what's up, man? DJ 
Uh, what's new? Well, hopefully this yard is going to be new. Hopefully the guys are going to like it. So let me go ahead and let's get this thing. Let's roll this intro real quick. Let's get back in and show, showcase this. We're actually starting a little bit south, and then we're going to drive up into Shoshone. Uh, this is Wyoming. So links are in the description. I've got a brand new yard here from Franken Style Customs. Uh, I'll explain this, especially if you haven't ever seen this before. We are obviously in John Rudis 389. You guys will see that here in a minute. Uh, also updated Z Mods Big Cam just got an update. A very nice update. Still the Big Cam sound, but it actually, I think, does sound better. Um, obviously, we're rocking all of the other stuff that we normally are in stream for sound wise. But anyway, more on that. Let's roll this intro and then I'll see you on the flip side. All right. So you'll see some things. Well, maybe you will. There it is. Um, so this is, a, a, this is my old one. Yeah, and I didn't like that. I don't know why that one's like that. <laughs> I don't know why those sounds were like that. Those terrible sounds. Let me, let me fix that. If we if we got to do this, we got to do it right, right? Let's see. Let me let me fix that. I'm gonna go back to our menu stream. Hang on a minute. Let's see. Where was that? There it was. Nope. Nope. Not that. Let's see. Okay. I think this is it. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. Ah. All right. We'll have to deal with that little wimpy little uh, sub thing. But thank you there, Life Behind the Wheel. Appreciate it, man. All right. Um. Hey, what's up, Cody? Uh, all the way from South Africa. All right, man. What's up, buddy? Hope you're doing well, Cecil. Good to see you, buddy. Um. <laughs> uh, you'll have to let me know, joke, what your name was. A lot of times we don't have any uh, patience for the Discord stuff. Um, it just it gets old after a while, so we just go ahead and just ban out because no, most no, most notably, it's always a Discord spam uh, invitations and whatnot. So let me know what the name is. No, I don't like the NFL. Well, thank you there, Dominic. Yeah, we did this one. Um, I did. I did. Uh, trying to think, I did this one in the Freightliner skin. Um, I did this one probably. I was close, probably uh, maybe close to a year ago. Uh, so I did all the Ruta pack. And it, by the way, uh, especially for all the Ruta stuff, if you guys want, I've got all this stuff in the bottom of the uh, Discord in the ATS skin section. Um, I always find a lot of people don't even know this stuff exists. Uh, it's not on Steam Workshop, which I'm thinking about going in and putting some of that stuff on the Steam Workshop. Um, but all of these skins that you see me, especially with the United Logistics stuff, is already um, in the Discord um, down in the uh, in the ATS section. So ATS uh, skins, I think, FTG skins in the, for ATS, you'll see it down at the bottom of the Discord. So log in, go grab them. They're all free. Um, you can have what you want. And um, and I'm going to be updating some, some of the DOMS 379 I've uh, kind of got started on his new template with that one's very nice. Um, so I'll uh, I'll have three that uh, three seventy nine out from Dom. I'll have a couple of updated ones. Probably a classic skin like this to to coincide with the other one, just as a United Logistics classic skin, um, without the logos and stuff. I'll just have the text and a few different smaller end logos on the steps and whatnot. And then we'll have one that'll be more company side that I have like the logo and the stripes going down the side like some of the other stuff is. So um, so yeah, all right, cool. Let's uh, let's go ahead and let's get into the driver's seat. And, um, and then, so we are, uh, let me show you where on the map we are. Cause a lot of, a lot of people don't really know what this map is or understand what these mods do. So essentially, um, what, uh, Frankenstein does is he adds a large section that's meant to be a home. Um, he's got a few that are actually like homes that have driveways and cars in the driveway. Um, and they have like a big shed out on the side that's, you know, got place to fuel up and things like that. They're actually pretty tight, not big enough to pull in trailers. But uh, as he's kind of grown into these things, a lot of guys, we got doubles in there. Thank you there, Kevin McCurry. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that, man. Thank you for the 10, man. What's up, Jordan? Thank you, man. Uh, glad you guys got in here from the start. That is good. <laughs> 
Um, <clears throat> so basically what he does is, is he takes one of these big areas and he mods in a city. This one's in Shoshone, Wyoming. So you have to have Shoshone, Wyoming for these to work, or at least for this DLC to show up. Um, and then he, um, he uses a lot of the default stuff and structures a map around, or at least a small map. I'll call it a map mod. That's essentially what it is, but it's a new section piece of map. Uh, that usually pulls in a bunch of stuff. And these usually have, I like for him, I think he's got the garage as the updated one. So if you already have this from from Selfie, you already will have an update for the garage. But I think um, everything else, though, is in here. So you got gas, sleep. So depending on how realistic you, you know, do all this stuff. Jamal, thank you there, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate the 10, buddy. Uh, awesome, man. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate y'all. Um, and then he'll put all of this together. So this one's actually got, all of the big um, the big map stuff in it. So it's got all the big one, HMS, American Lion, Steeler, Walbert's in here, Goliath, uh, and the Kims, uh, Kimso. So it's like all the big stuff is in here. So you basically draw it, and it's like this huge complex, industrial complex that's literally yours. You got all the flags on the signs. You got stuff on the road that tells you it's yours, your company logos and whatnot. So it's kind of like, quote, unquote, call it your job place from home so you can haul out a hit. And so these mods are really good if you like RP role play. Um, if you don't like role play and you just like running random roads, just discovering stuff, and you don't really ever have a quote unquote home that you like to haul out of, a lot of people, especially when they do these uh, DLC areas and stuff, what they'll do is they'll um, they'll they'll find a place that they'll kind of call home, and they'll basically deliver in and out of that place all over the place. So they'll deliver somewhere, and then they'll always find themselves going back to wherever it is that they're going. So, hey, what's up, Sartana? Thank you there for the fifty man. I appreciate that. There was a conversion rate there, almost 10. So thank you there, buddy. Appreciate that, Sartana. That's awesome, man. Good to see you in chat, man. Uh, it's it's always good to see, especially our modders, man. So uh, these guys get some good features on the channel, man, to do really good work. And that guy right there is one of them. So thank you there, Sartana. Appreciate you, bud. Um, it's awesome, man. So Shoshone is just an extra added on city. It's not going to be on your map if you don't have this mod. Uh, but we are right here, a little rest stop here, uh, just south here on Highway 20. And uh, we're going to ride in north here, and we're going to take you in here. We'll kind of, you know, dev console around. We'll show you. What I felt, what I thought we may do is just go ahead, and uh, especially for guys that may be coming in later, you guys that are seeing, we'll go in here and pick something up kind of small. Um, we've got a low boy here with John Rudas on his low boy. Um, obviously, you'll see a 389 and, and uh, his low boy trailer. And then we'll pull out of here real small, and then we'll come back, and we'll get to a different place. Like, we'll go to HMS, and we'll pick something, come out of there. Um, keep it real low key, kind of short trips, just really outside, you know, 100, 200 miles at the max, and then we'll kind of come back into it. And who knows? We we might even we might even try to give a couple of these away, you know? Maybe. These are good. The the good the smaller twelve dollar mods, and you know the the other smaller ones are a little bit a little bit easier to do that on. So let me um. By the way, let me pull this up because I want to make sure let's see all right I just wanted to check and make sure my uh my sound was good. If I feel like I'm having to compete too much with it, just let me know. And I can I can always turn it down. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and I am going to set my track R a little bit less sensitive. Let's do that. And oh gosh. And let's put this pin up here. We'll just go that way I don't miss it, because I probably will. Uh, anything like this in the workshop? No. Uh, that's the quick answer. Yeah, this mod is pretty much, uh, all you're going to find is, um, this mod, at least from, uh, from him. He's the only one that I know of besides some of the guys that have done bigger map mods that are part of their actual map. Um, he has done those things, but, um... You know, you basically have to get the map to get the kind of custom stuff they do. They kind of throw that stuff inside of their maps, but this one are kind of add-ons, and it is it is compatible. Great America Pro mods um, and most of the the standard like standard map stuff. I even think uh, Coast to Coast Team Reforma with uh, Mexico they're compatible with those as well. So you can kind of run them with most of our normal kind of map mods. 
it does diesel it does work with great america so kudos to daniel to get that going because i told him i said bro get a lot of my guys are using great america you need to make that happen so and he did so him and voith are working together on making making sure their stuff remains compatible so that's that's always cool to see Space, you're going to see it right here, buddy. <laughs> now you got a smoothie. <laughs> What's up, Gerald? Good to see you, man. Uh, <laughs> buckle. <t> <laughs> So that was the signs and billiards uh, mod that um, the guy from uh, oh, what's his name? Shoot, I know, I know exactly the one you're talking about too. Yeah, that one's like a, it's not like an accessory, like a default. It changes all the default and adds some billiards, uh, billboards. Sorry, not billiards, billboards and other like road signage posters and stuff. On, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. All right. So here it is, right here. So all this is yours. Got its own train running into town. And there's, uh, you see, we've got our flag up there at the top. I like that part. I like the, I like the, I like the logo stuff. That's always my favorite. So then from there, pretty much decide where you want to go. Um, and I'll take you over here, and we'll see. Uh, we'll show you the, the truck stop. Maybe we'll get down to HMS because they'll definitely have something on the low boy. It is the big cam there, Seer. Uh, how are the sweaters? I mean, like these sweaters? They're great. <laughs> Justin Moore, what's up, man? Good to see you, buddy. Oh, I need to go the other way. All right, so anyway, there's the shop entrance. You actually have to buy this garage. It's got a fuel stop on the bow side out of it. We'll make a left. We'll make a Yui here in Kimso. There's Goliath there in the back, which is like another, like a, I don't know what you call that, heavy material handling. They're not really, uh, they're not really like those, but like heavy material handling. But they're not HMS. They're not machinery. Yeah, he does. He does good there, uh, Sartana. He does good, man. I don't. I don't usually run into any problems with it. Most of it's always just been in compatibility. But you know, it, it's hard to be compatible with everything out there when you're a map. I mean, you, at some point you kind of have to make some decisions. You know, <laughs> certain points you can't like do it all. But the good thing, at least with uh, ATS, is there's not a lot to be compatible with. You only got about four map mods, so it's Pro Mods, Great America, Team Reforma, and I think Coast to Coast. So. But you can't run coast to coast and all the rest of them tandemly. You have to run it kind of by itself. But there's another United Logistics flag there right here at the uh, start of the shop. And the new one update, I didn't get the new update yet. Um, but the new update has the, uh, so you can actually fix and repair your truck stuff here too. So you got a full pull through there, which is pretty cool. And I think the, the trigger is in there actually. You got fuel on the back side here. We'll see if we can pull through the door here. Uh, no, Christian, I didn't stop using it. I just can't use it every stream. Um, you know, his truck's not the only one out there that, that people want to see. And, and a lot of times people don't want to see it because they don't want to buy it. Or they can't buy it, so they don't want to be tempted with it. So... You know, fair enough, each to their own. But I usually try to bounce around and showcase a couple of other things that are 
you know, kind of uh, where guys are, you know, either looking at mods, new stuff that's updated. So he's got a really nice update that's planned. So you will see some more of that truck by by far, man. It is uh, definitely not not off the channel by any means. I just have to drive other stuff just because it's you know people want to see it. All right, so we'll swing down this way. There's the big Steeler company back there in the back. So we'll head on over to HMS. That's where we'll go. Do I have any hats? Uh, no, I could I could potentially. There's the ones I've, I've considered doing a pre-order, but, you know, the pre-order would have to be, you know, I don't know. It, 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 hats were just hard. Hats were hard. Um, I could buy them, to buy them for people, but then it would be wind up costing a lot more because then I'd have to ship it once it was shipped here, and it's just not easy. Um, if I was selling a lot of merch and I was selling a lot of stuff, then I'd probably have my own little store, uh, and I would sell stuff out of the web store, you know, and then just pack it myself. That'd be a lot better, but I uh, don't really sell enough to justify that kind of amount of work for it. Um, so let's, uh, let's see what we got here. So we got some coals, electronics. So we'll just do something short. We won't go to. We'll we'll just go to Casper. We'll come back, and um, and then we'll do something like that. We'll just we'll kind of keep uh we'll keep things keep things small, and then we'll drive back into it here, and we'll we'll either pull a different trailer, or we'll pull something else out, just to especially the guys that'll be coming in later, they'll be able to see. See where is our? There it is. Let's see if I can back in right here. It's gonna be pretty tight right there. Um, Cody, what do you think of this? Oh, I don't mind talking about the Texas Edition truck. Um, so the, the Texas Edition truck, for me, um, kind of stopped when they took me off their, their Google Drive update list as a streamer. They got into it with another streamer. Um, and I don't, I don't personally know the guy. Um, I know what he was doing on stream, and, um, and they didn't really like it. <laughs> so they kind of went after him about, I guess, defamation um, of character and their name and whatnot, which... Uh, you know, whatever. Everybody's entitled to do what they want to do, I guess, on that on that front. But agree with it or not, uh, they took a lot of their streamers off of the main list, and so just but I guess to not have that problem anymore. So from what I see from the screenshots, I mean the truck I think looks good. The problem with with their truck is that they've taken some liberties with some of the other modders' stuff, uh, and they have put it and included it and tried to cover it up with the mod. So for that, I can't get behind. Um, I can't tell you not to buy it. I can, you know, tell you, hey, it's probably not a good idea to do it, you know, if you just want to be a stand-up guy in the community. Um, but, uh, you know, I know they took Z mods and unpacked them and then um, put them inside of there and just tried to cover them up. But they didn't relabel his names. So you can still see all the name files in there, which sucks. Um, but um, so I, I, can't, I can't stream it for that, um, and I can't support them. Uh, even if the truck I think now is looking better than it probably ever did, it's just unfortunate that you know they've had to do like small stupid things rather than just offer compatibility mods to help people out to make them compatible with uh, with Z mods, which they do already. That's the thing I don't understand. They took all of his stuff and they edited it um, and tried to make it their own when all they had to do was just add, you know, add uh, all they needed to do was just add uh, compatibility to it. Uh, to me, it was a stupid move and um, some a completely unforced error. But it's what they did, and uh, so I, I, you know, I think the truck itself is probably looking really good, and I've seen pictures of it. They've done a lot of work to the truck from where it started. Um, I just, you know, for the other stuff, man, I can't do it. So, yeah. Well, Sartana, I'm interested, brother. I'm interested if that's uh, Jose from uh, V3 American. 
Um, I'm very interested if that's who's working with Rudin now because I saw on his page he is going to be selling a Ram hotshot truck. What? Well, go figure. So I'm kind of thinking that, uh, that Jose from V3 American Mods is also selling. Um, that's who's working with Rudin. But, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of surprised you guys want. I, I am, I am very surprised you guys want to see that. To be quite honest with you. I, I am very surprised y'all want to, y'all want a hot shot truck. I guess that's how desperate you are for something other than a semi truck. I mean, pretty soon somebody's going to put like a, like a standard Toyota Tundra, and people are going to be paying for it. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Alright, so there is our leaving out of Shoshone. Shoshone. I'm just kidding. Because I think a lot of people, you know, just one thing I'll add about Texas is I think a lot of people assumed that uh you know they just gave me everything no i paid for that mod and then they took me off of it like they, they kicked me out of it even though i paid for it before they even knew i was a streamer <laughs> so yeah there's there's some there's some salt and some shade to be thrown there so you're not gonna you're gonna go find any uh like really really good nice things for me to say <laughs> uh, oh well, you paid for a 2022 charger wow <laughs> See, that's what I, that's, uh, that's what I think is hilarious, man. But, you know, it's fine, whatever. Each to their own. Uh, Josh, I don't know. I don't, I don't do Windows 11 yet. Um, as for the, uh, as for how it works, um, I would assume it would work very similar to what it does in Windows 10. You probably need to, um, go to Thrustmaster and see if there's any kind of driver set that you need to, um, have for that one. Yeah, America Pickup. That's what it's eventually going to be. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. I was just imagining, like, what if what if TMP, like, came out with a truck that you could haul trailers with? I'm like, do y'all realize how many people would be fifth-wheeling it down to down the, down the five? Man, <laughs> be like, oh, my God. Hey, thank you there, James Rector. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you there for the tip. Well, I, I mean, new gamer. I mean, I, I think it's fine if you're gonna. I think it's just. I think it's odd to put to to go the hot shot route. You know, from a payware perspective, but there's still trucks to do. Um, but I, I just think it's interesting. You know, I, I mean, I, if you if if we'd have said someone, hey, I'm going to do a Dodge Ram. I hope you guys enjoy it. They'd be like, would well, do a 389 first, you dummy. You know, do a custom Kenworth, you dummy, before you go do this. So I think, you know, that's what a lot of people would have said before. But since we now have a plethora of those things, it's like, what else are you going to mod, you know? And here you go. This is what you're going to mod. <laughs> you're going to mod these things. Uh, so, yes, I guess if y'all are asking, you know, are you going to? Yes, I guess we'll be featuring it. <laughs> guess we'll do it. It'll be fun. What's up, Cliff Ward? How are you, man? Yeah, I know, Alan. <laughs> That's what I said. What's up, Farmer T? How are you, buddy? Uh, Martinsky, I, I, I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming they did it because uh, I was a streamer. I mean, they knew it. Um, they knew I was a streamer. So after the last guy, you know, after the last guy uh, that they kind of gotten a, you know, tiff tough with, um, I don't know if they cut some of their. Uh, people on my side, like, uh, just put, cut their their uh, their streamers and whatnot. I have no idea. I don't know anyone else that streams it actively, so I don't really know anybody to compare that to. So, yeah, no problem there, Cody. I mean, honestly, I mean, it's a great truck. That's, that's kind of like the crappy thing about it, man. It's actually a really good truck. It's just they did some like really small, stupid stuff that just kind of ruined it for me. Um, but because we really don't have any other Kenworths besides the Highway Killer, that model, that style. Um, that kind of fit the bill the same way. Like we don't really, 
Um, Colton's flat glass is kind of close, but it's still not that truck. It's still not that model. It's a lot newer. So you kind of miss that big. Now, I will say this. Uh, Henry Lexus um, is redoing that 95 flat glass, which might be a good competitive t uh, competitor to it. But I don't know timelines on that either. So depends on how bad you uh, how bad you want that. No tech, I don't. Uh, you're this is the big cam, big cam 500 from Z. The brand new update. So he's updated this one. It sounds really good inside. Um, I tell you the thing that I have noticed uh, very quickly with this. I don't know if it's just this new update. Um, especially this new update with um, in regards to just all of the stuff that's going on with these mods, sounds, and uh, sound updates, freeware and and uh, payware. It seems like all of them are having. To me, it feels like the outsides of the engines are just they're not they're not as as clean as they used to be. And it's even the free guys too. Like they're just you got to be right up on the engine, but there's no way to do it. So when you're riding in third person, you don't hear anything but the wind. And I don't know if ATS, you know, I don't know if they, <laughs> I don't know if they built that in that way or, um, I don't know. A certain distance away from the truck, you don't hear it. But then again, you know, if you just want to ride like this, you don't ever get to hear the engine. It just sounds really, we, it sounds really muffled and, you know, kind of a little whisper in the wind. I mean, I guess yeah, you're you're, you're 50 foot away from it. I guess I, guess I get it. So. Uh, you can do hot shot trucking. I mean, if they built the mod into it. I, I was going to night until we got, um, I got a, uh, what's his name, said, hey, we're going to do this. And I planned on doing that last night with a different truck and different in uh, sounds, which was going to be Johnny Cash's. So I'm going to do Johnny Cash's here right off the first of this week once we uh, get through tonight. And then I'll probably, um, uh, we'll probably take tomorrow off and then, and then I'll probably run up uh, like Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, we'll do that mod because I was going to try to do this yesterday and do it last night, but then share mods wouldn't let me download the file in time for stream. So, so yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to pull this back up. We'll get rid of this. Let's see. Hang on a minute. Let me do that. There we go. Ugh. But you can hear the hot rod. I, I know. I know. That's what I mean, man. Yeah. And I don't necessarily, I don't, I don't know there's nothing that, that those modders can do. Because, um, I mean, even the default trucks are that way, so. What's up, Located 3? I don't know. Whenever I feel like Rich. Well, you're doing it, James. You can get the super chat, or you got a link down in the description that'll uh, send you on over to uh, Stream Elements. It's the same thing. Tell you what, we have hit literally every stoplight. Uh, do I like Rollins, uh, the Rollins Roland 389 or <laughs> They're different trucks. Um, I mean, if you just said mod to mod, yeah, I would tell you Rollins is better because it's got a lot more customization. And the, the next pieces of the puzzle, he's going to be bringing in a ton of crap. So, you know, I, I think for I think for a certain point of it, uh, it's going to be uh, it'd be hard to, to compare the two anyway. Um, it's more of a it's it's a better truck. It's got a lot more stuff, but it's also more expensive. I mean, seventy dollars more. So, I mean, you got to take that in consideration. So, for the money, especially after this next update, um, after this next update, it's going to be kind of like crazy to compare it because I mean, this three eighty nine is going to be really good, and especially for the price that he's offering it at. So, can't go wrong with it. So, thank you there, Lucky Thirteen. Appreciate the five dollars super chat, bud. Thank you, man. Uh, I do, Jason. I've been racing. I just um, I haven't uh, had the chance and the time to do it. Um, obviously, things will be cranking up here, um, stock car wise, in the next bit. But um, 
It's been it's been busy, man. This this winter was has gone by in a blur. So I'm hoping, um, you know, I'm hoping once the girls get back into school, we had a week off from school last week. Um, and so I'm hoping I was going to try to do the Daytona 24 with the team, but I just couldn't get I couldn't get the back off time, and and um, it just it just it just scheduling just didn't work out for when I would actually be driving. And so I guess I'll attempt to start back in with the Daytona tw uh, Daytona 500, um, and uh, and go back in. It'll be all next gen racing the next gens up. So it'll be interesting. It's nice. I've been been kind of working back trying to get the stream stuff ready, you know, cameras and trying to get all of that worked up. Well, we just blew through that red light. Didn't even recognize that one. So I'm waiting for my alert to come through. There it was the Jordan. There, thank you there, man. Appreciate the uh, appreciate the tip, bud. Thank you there, man. Uh, it's not low detailed uh, by by any means. I mean, it's one of the most detailed mods I've ever seen. Um, the outside though was built, um, and he used the, I guess at first he used the SCS 389 stuff to, um, to keep the poly count low on the outside when generally a lot of people wouldn't be on the outside of the truck if they liked the inside. Um, so he didn't want the outside of that mod to basically pull down the, the performance of it so much to where you could even really ride in the inside where he wanted to spend all of his time. Um, his last update is really good, and the next updates that are coming are are uh, really there's gonna be a lot of parts and pieces to it so um it's it's graphic and i mean it's graphic intensive but honestly i i don't put roland's um i don't put the roland mod above any of the rest of them i mean i still think the, the freightliner classic the kill uh, the uh, highway killer 389 under certain certain circumstances uh depending on what fixtures you put around the inside of the truck are uh, are still two or three of the most frame intensive trucks besides the stuff that used to come out of a Frank Peru. But I mean, to me, there's no comparison in those. I mean, they're, they're, they're basically all the same. Um, I get no better frame rates than I get with uh, Roland than I get with Ruta and vice versa with the highway killer. Um, now that he added that full gauge and all those Chrome pieces, uh, the highway killer is my worst performing truck in the whole bunch. But But, you know, the one thing about Roland is he's starting to add in, so you're going to have hood options in this next update. I can't tell you all that. So Roland's putting in, uh, putting some updates in his group. So he's going to have hood updates now. He's already got fender updates. So now you'll be able to pick hoods, pick fenders. So probably before in the next hot fix couple of updates come out, you're probably not. You're probably going to be able to basically rebuild the truck. Uh, you'll probably have the uh, the ultra cabs, you know, the regular day, the day cab structure. And then you'll you know be able to change out fenders. You can already change out bumpers, lights, grills, everything else. Put 379 stuff on it, and also the hoods. So you're going to have some hood options coming up in the next one. So I mean, at some point, the only thing that's going to be stock on this thing is going to be a cab. You know. Yeah, there we go. All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Sure, let's 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 try to throw it there. That's all right, space. Hey, hey, his free 379 was still a great solid truck, man. We we uh man, we sported that we sported that truck in a lot of streams. <laughs> it's a great it's a great truck. I mean really all these trucks are. I mean, you, you, there's so much, there's so many things to take into account nowadays. It's not just like go out and buy a truck. You know, there's so many things to take into consideration. Oh, computer and specs and, you know, what people say and reviews and videos and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. The trailer is John Ruta's. It's right out of his, uh, right out of his low, his, uh, his pack. So it's one of his newest and latest uh, trailers to add to the group. Let me, uh, I have to pull it and try that again. I was scared I was going to cut the corner on that post. There we go.
Hey, what? You get no room in here, buddy. Let me try it one more time. <laughs> one more time. Ah, right, Jordan. Yeah, it's great. It's great, man. Yeah, Chaos does a good work. Chaos stuff is really high poly count. I mean, it's really, it's really good, but it is, it's, it's pretty intensive as well. At least it can be. All right, let's give us one more whirl and see if we can get that back in around a little bit more. I don't really get much room here once you ground the corner. Right. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I'll scat back. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. Let's see. Let's, uh, so let's take, um, let's do this. Uh, we'll take in something else. We'll show in the, uh, Shoshone, uh, the industrial mod from Frankenstyle. So now that we've pulled out there, let's pull back in and let's see. If, I doubt we can find something back in a Shoshana. I mean, we, we, I can look, but I doubt that I can find it. Um, let's, throw the, let's throw the big old reefer on there. This is also Ruta's reefer as well. So if you're curious whose this is, we're just going to get close here. Actually, that was close enough for me. Getting pretty good at this matching, matching paint color stuff here. Oh, look at these wheels. Look at snaps. Look at those, boy. Mmm. Goodness. I'm straight pimping on his last ride. I don't know what I was doing. Let's see. Where is the... I feel like I need break up the blue. There we go. There we go. That's, that's better. That's better. How about a little chroma air? We, there we go. All right. Now we're good. Okay. Now I can go. Whoever didn't want me to put dinner plates. Fanatic Farmer, I didn't put dinner plates on the truck, but I did put them on the trailer. So if you're cool with that. <laughs> What's up, South Pines? How are you, man? How about I rate the yard? So it depends on what you want, Lamont. Um, you know, I've done videos on most of all of them. Uh, probably the... Probably the, the the bigger mods are the more, I don't want to say they're more useful. If I was to tell someone, here's what I'd tell you to do. I'd tell you to go buy one of the small ones, um, and then I'd tell you to buy one of the big ones. You know, like, if that's if that's really where you wanted to go. Um, but the other probably, maybe even more so important thing that I would do is I would, um, I would by all means buy something in an area that you drive a lot in. I mean, to me, that's like, you know, kind of one of those, it should be, it should go without being said, but yeah, you should buy those mods exactly in the areas where you're driving. So, so we're cast for, let's fly up to 26. Let's go back up into the Shoshone. So we'll go uh, pick up here and uh, we might set us up a little, uh, a little giveaway here. So maybe we can set up, maybe someone can win them a little Shoshone goodness tonight. We got no trailer and it's not even loaded, so I feel like it's gonna be a quick, it's gonna be a quick, quick, uh, quick trip back. I hate how ATS traffic and uh, wait a minute, oh it's the next one. <laughs> My bad. Watch out. Woo. Okay. Yeah, speaking of which, Sartana, I need to I need to get up with him and get that 359 up. I I um, we tried connecting and then I kind of forgot about it. I did the I did the unruly thing as a creator and I forgot to contact him back. <laughs> oh, whoops! Hey, what's up, Albert Gaming? How are you, man? I noticed Felix had that really good bumpers. He had the on that 359. He had the clean stuff, but he also had the uh, 
almost the rusted out looking stuff. I was like, wow, this is kind of the first time I've ever seen this. Can I drive the 2019 Volvo? Wow, I don't get requests to drive those every day. But I would love to drive that. I actually don't mind the truck at all. North Durban Street. I wonder if that's a real street. Flat Dash? Uh, you mean the 389? Or you mean the Volvo? Uh, I think it's flat. Actually, no, it's got a little crease in it. Uh, it's not a rumor. Uh, it's pretty much confirmed. Yeah, International 9900i. Although we haven't seen any teasers and sneak peeks of the truck, which I'm, I'm actually surprised we haven't seen that stuff, to be honest with you. They're usually pretty good about, you know, starting the hype, you know, a year in advance. Oh, gosh. I feel like the ATS stoplights wait so long for reds, but they no time for green. No time. Hey, Psycho, I'm working on the uh, cast trailers for you for ETS there, buddy. You're welcome. Sledge requested them, too. I'll throw him under the bus. So I'll get to working on the, uh, I'll get to working on your ETS2 stuff. Just about finished all the tandem, so I had to get that uploaded. So, by the way, any, uh, any guys here like uh, ETS, I just completed a lot of the tandem stuff. So this week I'm going to get out a full basically kind of ets trailer tandem packs for that kind of stuff and uh so even if you don't you know necessarily if you're riding with another company or whatever uh you want some uh, tandem mods uh be able to grab those in the discord uh down at the ets uh ftg skins ets2 right under the ats skins i'll have the other ones uploaded this week so keep an eye out for that as well hey what's up doug black how are you man it has been too long <laughs> We can go back to Romania. We can go back. Uh, we've been driving a lot in Scandinavia and Finnmark. That's the one we do. And it's, it's, that's really nice. Yeah, Mikey, I do too outside of streams. Nobody wants to watch them in streams, but they drive them outside of streams, which is interesting. But it's got to be the modded ones. I, I don't really much care for the SES ones. I mean, I don't say I don't care for them. I mean, I do. It's kind of weird. I used to love the Pro Star before it kind of came over, switched over, and became, um, you know, the International LT. Uh, at least the I actually probably like the mod inside of uh, the Steam Workshop better to do the NCS one, but uh, have cables. It does has both options. Redline. Yeah, you can do both with it. Hey, what's up, Clint? How are you, man? <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Uh, I don't know, Wolverine. No, this is not the 389. We're just driving this thing because uh, it's in my it's in my rotation of stuff to pull out every now and again. We have not actually been in this 389 for a while. Yeah, you've been driving in Texas. We, you can't do Texas until next uh, till the very end of this year. If not beginning of next. Orion, this is the big cam from Z Mods. Well, I mean, it's possible that it's uh, a source that I have in the other one. Um, I would have to strip it down and rebuild it, which I actually was going to do anyway, because it's just time to do that. You know, you run three, four, five months, and then it's time to just freshen it up. Um, 
you know, the stream tech moves pretty quick. So I like to try to stay on top of that, at least a little bit anyway. Uh, yeah, Justin, I think there's two guys, literally. Hey, there's two guys doing it, man. I'm like, you got to be kidding me, man. I mean, they're ETS2 street. Like, let's put it in perspective. I, you know, I hate getting on these when you guys bring this crap up. I hate, I hate talking about it because it makes me sound like a you-know-what. But, I mean, ETS2 is fixing to add basically the whole western part of Russia as a DLC, and we're, we still don't have Montana or Texas. Like, oh, my God. Like, they're getting a whole half of a country. <sighs> so, anyway, I digress. It is what it is. Uh, just haven't been updated yet, Doug. I mean, I, I assume... I, I would assume that... Um, I think Harvin's updating that truck now. I'm not sure what they're waiting on, but... You can... I mean, you can update it. just needs the version number changed. None of the lift axles will work right. So, you'll just have to drive the 6 by 4s but you can still do it like that. Oh, the most interior. Uh, probably KI's has more. Um, it definitely has more frame chassis options um, and just more overall options to the everything else. Um, so it's got a lot more um, just outside the grills and bumpers and all that. Obviously, John Rooters will have that in time. You're just going to have to wait for it. So... And it depends. 352 is a very squared off front end. It's more like driving a cardboard box. Not a cardboard, but, you know, a squared off box. Uh, 362 has got a little more form to it. So it might be somewhat preference for you at that point. Just depends. What's up, Q Grove? Good to see you, man. I'm kind of catching up with Chad, too. So, I, well, it has. It has. But, you know, they, they, they're, they're, putting, they're, they're putting their workers where the, where the money is. I guess that's, you know, I guess that's what it is. Yeah, I think, you know, so we've talked about this in stream quite a few times. Um, I, I feel as if um, ATS needs a good push and I mean a good solid development push and I don't you know I think Wyoming for some and I would be included in this was a little bit of a letdown I, I think we I think there was an assumption that there would be some other things and I mean yes Wyoming is really not all that exciting of a country I mean I had a country a state like it, it is boring but there's still very picturesque terrain kind of things that you come to expect I kind of like Montana is going to be a mixture of should be Idaho and Colorado so we kind of thought there would be a continuation of Colorado into Wyoming. And then of course, things would flatten out. And it's not all mountain. It's not all plain land either. So <clears throat> I think, you know, generally speaking, it was a little bit of a letdown. But honestly, Convoy, I think, was the thing that killed a lot of the community stuff, especially TMP stuff and other things that were going on. Um, and I think a lot of people, at least I saw in our community, um, a lot of people, man, just they just stopped. They stopped driving. Um, they didn't either didn't have a reason to drive or they got tired of it or convoy wasn't what they thought it was going to be and they couldn't run 50 uh it took forever for mods to come out and you know tmp took forever updating their stuff so i i, I would credit some of the regression of ats to convoy mode coming out but not everyone shares my opinion on that so here we are in shoshone frankenstein's newest industrial mega complex the mega bowl it's all we're missing is the Mega Bowl. So you can tell we got our flag already up there, courtesy of Frank and Style, so thanks to him. And you got all of these big, uh, you know, all of these companies back in here. Garage over here on the right, for those that have not seen it. We've also got Kimso here on the right. Um, you got a truck broke down in front of us. HMS on this side. Walmart's in front of us. I think there's a couple other ones. This American, I can't remember what that one is. But it's pretty cool how the train comes out of that. You see that a lot in distri uh, dis uh, distribution centers. Goliath on the hill. More like uh, material uh, handling. HMS is more machinery handling. Steeler's got all the metal works and all that other stuff. Walmart's a good goods like this right here. So this is kind of like our company home, if you want to call it this. 
Oh, I didn't realize my dot was that close. Let's uh, let's see if we can pick something up out of here. No, we gotta go at least a different way. Where's that going? 149 down to Rock Springs. We can do that. So it is in Wyoming. So if you want to know what it's compatible with and all that stuff, basically it's compatible with most of your common mods, uh, map mods anyway. So Great America, Team Reformer, Coast to Coast, uh, Pro Mods Canada, just to name those are the main ones that it's compatible with. You do need Wyoming, obviously. Recommended to have the other DLCs, obviously, to get into Wyoming. So, And it's using uh, at least the companies themselves are uh, being utilized from SES, obviously, just because you kind of have to do it that way. And you could build in your custom businesses, but it'd be a bear trying to make that compatible with everything else. So, There is a Kimso, yeah. So I think Kimso, I think they're oil chemical and oil I think maybe I don't know I really don't know that's good to see you too Doug take care buddy um, I would assume so space since these aren't custom and he hasn't changed these around to be something else I would assume that they might be but I mean the easiest thing is man to put it in there and try it if it doesn't work it don't work that's typically what I do. I mean, I just test the mod. I throw it in, especially if it's these free accessory mods. Just throw it in there and see if it works. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it don't. Sometimes it screws your game up. Hey, what's up, Double? Good to see you, man. So we got links in the description for all these. We're actually going to give one of these away, too. So hang around. We'll do a random giveaway to a user here on the channel. We do this from time to time. Look at that, man. Kadoosh. All right. Let's go ahead and let's load up. Um, okay, the Kim. Okay, you run tanker all day? Okay, all right. So, yeah, it's uh, uh, the Kim so is... Uh, yeah, it's right in, uh, not right there, Goliath. It's on the other side. It's beside the shop. Let me, uh, let's go ahead and pull up Nightbot here. Let's, uh, let's get some guys in here to, uh, y'all want one of these maps? Why not? Mm, 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 mm. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to think of. <laughs> a bit of a Frank killer. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine this one's a little more spread out. I will say that this one's got a little bit more of a sparseness, so there's probably a lot of details that's not getting drawn in from the other one. So, yeah, you, you might be in a total different, you know, might be in a total, total different place with this one. So, no, well, I had a low boy on the first one, but we wound up picking up the reefer for the second trip. It's got special wheels on it, so. <laughs> How are you? Hey, did you get a lot of snow, Clint? We got a lot. Well, we got a lot for here. Uh, yeah, lucky it does. Uh, the the version that I have didn't, but he realized he, he it got left out of there or he got um, deleted out. So he went and added it back in and put an update in for it. So it's up there by the shop. So, hey, you know what? For those that didn't do it, let me do this. Because I didn't really do this. So you got um, the entryway with your uh, company signs if you want. We got the Wyoming flag there and, and his flag. Um, so, uh, it's pretty cool. I like the way he's put some things together here. So you got HMS on the back side there. And then down here, you've got the train that runs through, but you've got, what is this one here? 
American Lines here. I'm not sure if this one is this was this um uh, addition in. I don't even know if this was addition into Wyoming or not. I think it was. Anyway. Oh wow, y'all we got more than y'all did. It's crazy, man. You got Steeler there, you got Walbert there in the back. Walbert. And uh and then right here is your shop. It does have once you buy it, it is a Bible garage, so you've got fuel uh fuel depot in the back there. And uh, you can drive through, you can sleep, you can upgrade this, you can store vehicles here if you want to, um, and load out of here as well. So it's something that um, some guys were wanting. Um, so you can store trucks here, so which is pretty cool. And then there's the Kimso back up here in the top. So it's a pretty cool place. Uh, you know, there's, um, you know, Frankenstein did a couple of things. He did these, these, uh, these type of industrial complex mods. Um, some of them different better than others uh, just because of maybe locations of where they were or just amenities of what they had in the map and just the way it looked. It just looked cooler. He also had a couple of like – I saw someone up there. I can't remember who it was unless it's already gone. Cody um, had said that, uh, you know, he hauls cattle every day. Well, there's a couple of those that are like huge cattle farms, industrial complex for cattle. So it might be something, you know, it might be worth looking into. Let's see. So we got 149 miles. So I'm going to open up this giveaway here. Um, and then you guys can type in. A, oh, I'm missing this gear every single time tonight. And then I'll uh, give you guys a keyword. Y'all enter it. And then once we get our location here, we'll uh, we'll draw for a uh, for a lucky winner. Uh, you can repair there. My version doesn't have it. But he updated one that went out to everyone, I think, uh, earlier today. And then those, those all have the repair center. So, yeah. Yeah, you can repair there. I'm not sure if it's there or not, DJ, because he said he wasn't finished with this one. He wanted to get it out, but he wasn't quite finished with it. He wanted to add some more things in there. Um, but I'm not sure if that accent is planned on being permanent. My guess would be probably not. Um, so, Cade... Um, yeah, so so because I like ASP and I'll help you out here, I'm in a good mood. Um, when you go to your controls, bud, uh, if it's only staying on for a f oh crap, wrong one. If it's only staying on for a flicker, uh, make sure that it's uh, right here on the engine brake toggle and not just the engine brake. If you just hit the engine brake, that's like if you had a button to activate it, like a like an easy jake. That's what you'd assign the jake brake. If it's the engine brake toggle, means when you flip the switch on, it's going to stay on until you flip the switch off. And that'll that'll or 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 you um, push the the throttle down. <laughs> well, I'm shoving it into gear. Unfortunately, it's not grabbing it. <laughs> I'd imagine the day is probably not too far in the future. By the time you'll actually have force feedback shifters, where it will not open the gate and shift unless the game tells you that you can. You know that day's coming. You know that day's coming. It's gonna be pretty awesome when it does. Yeah, I, Yusuf. Yeah, man, I, I'm I'm with you, man. I I don't know. I think part of it too. I think for um, I think for some of us to sit on the outside and kind of critique a lot of this stuff, uh, not necessarily the mods, but just the overall world of ATS. I think the one thing that we would um, I think the one thing that we would be a little bit um, I'm trying to think of the best. I'm trying to think of the best way to put this. Um, the the thing that I that I kind of keep coming back to, at least on the the realization, I mean the realism part of ATS, is having trucks drive around. We've kind of got them driving around in the in the fuel stops and the in the the bigger trailer stuff. What happens and how much does that traffic have to route and how does it work inside? You know, pulling in to a place, loading and then pulling out, like you know, setting up collisions and I mean just all the things that go in. I don't know if that, that framework is really was ever really designed for ATS to have any of that. Because obviously, I mean if you think about it, we're driving these huge trucks in like a CBS parking lot. Like y'all y'all know going to Eddie's. I mean it's like drop dropping off at like a Walgreens. Like an eighteen wheeler in the middle of this like, you know, little small town on the outskirts of Colorado. <laughs> Delivered a eighteen wheeler to uh you know, got an 18-wheeler, 50-foot, 53-foot reefer going into the Walgreens. So, I, you know, I, I, what you do for one, can you do it for the other? Can you separate them? Does what needs to be built in? Mm -hmm. 
Awesome, Cade. Awesome, man. Well, that'll fix it for you then. Uh, so you... What you mean there, Lucky? What you, what you mean that? So you buy site-specific... You cannot put it anywhere. Um, oh, you mean... You mean the mod? Yeah, so it... I mean, it comes in one, one spot there. Um, so we have already have a Michael. Um... There it is, man. That five low, I miss it every single time. It's kind of been terrible tonight. Um, oh, Outlaw is coming back. Really? Well, he's going to be mad when the hater built Scotty's truck. <laughs> Let the comments flow. Let the hate flow, young Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> That's his real truck. He did all that by himself. Okay. All right. Okay, little Johnny. Oh, I thought that truck. Oh, we came over. He said, hey, you've got a middle lane there, Buster. Working together. Oh, my gosh, man. <laughs> oh, when things in ATS can't get any crazier. There you go. That right there. Clint knows. Clint knows. He's been around. Clint's been around the block. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, well, so I haven't. I, I, I'm actually going to give you a keyword, and you hit that keyword, and then you just enter the keyword, and then you're good. You don't have to put the exclamation in the commands or nothing like that. You just need to say the word. It's 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 super simple. <laughs> right, what's up, Big Jam? Absolutely better late than better late than never. Yeah, I know. Hey, it's Facebook, Clint. I'm telling you, man. That was the death of all that. Was Facebook, dude? Never create something around something free. You know, like never create like this random community stuff with free stuff to give away like it never works in any of this stuff there's always so much drama and it usually never winds up and when people wind up getting butt hurt and, and it just it winds up splitting people split big large sections of the community away just off something that was free in the first place it's just so sad but you know it is what it is as long as I can put police flights on my frame I'll be good yeah, Al was always free. What's up, Jeremy? Yeah, me too. Hey, Jeremy, did you ever get your shirt? I mean, to text you. Did you get your? Did you get your shirt? I'm pretty sure it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it, it shipped out. Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Dom's uh, Masonic Boone, uh, just because. Um, I don't have blue lines. Um, they're all obviously going to be at the same price point, so they are very comparable now. Um, but uh, yeah, Dom's has got a good selection of customization to it. A lot of different frames and chassis, plus you know cabs as well. So at some point, it probably depends on more or less what you want. Blue line's kind of the more original, kind of an old school 379. You know, it's not necessarily what I consider to be a custom 379 builder, uh, but. Uh, but you'd have to watch someone else's video on the blue line because I don't have it. <laughs> you wore it once. Well, maybe I can hook you up and get you another one sent your way. <laughs> Which one did you, did you get? A, did you get the was it the long sleeve, the 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 nice feeling one? Yeah, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a little different, Mathis. It just takes it takes a little bit to get used to it. I mean, once you learn it, then it's kind of like it's riding a bike. You never really kind of forget it. So if you're talking about the free one, it's got a load order in there, but you need to unzip it first. All right, so unzip it first, and then you'll see an SES file. Um, you also see, I think, his paint pack and 
Um, I think he's got the sounds and stuff for that, for the for the free one, if that's the one you're talking about. And he's got a load order picture in there. Look at the load order picture. It tells you how to stack them. You're good. Just unzip the, the RAR file. A lot of people are... The only reason that thing was packaged up as a RAR file was to save in compression so that it would keep the downloads a little bit smaller for everybody. That's That was the only reason. Oh, Willie, no, I didn't. Hey, uh, so so today, since today is a mega mod, we got 70 miles left. So 70 miles to put in the word mega. M-E-G-A, mega, just all lowercase, just mega. Just throw it in chat. You don't have to put an explanation, an exclamation mark or nothing. Just put in mega, M-E-G-A, that's it. And then you're entered. It did DVD. Hope yours went well. There we go. See the eligible users going. To Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, Rock Springs. All right. Rock Springs. Um, for some of y'all, let's see, what's the AK put in there? Putting him. All right, so it evidently doesn't look like it matters whether or not you put a large M or a small M. The Iron Cross lights? Uh, wait, my map didn't update. Oh. Well, that was weird. And you don't have to do it, um, you don't have to do it multiples, just do it once. It's not going to tell you if you're, um, entered in there. It's Nightbot, which always works, which is why I use it. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree, Diesel. <laughs> that's okay to be off topic about that that's fine oh yeah yeah chaos yeah that was the uh, chaos shadow walkers light pack ksw mods jason i think it's like six or seven bucks great great pack man great pack Uh, Cody, if you want to join United Logistics, um, you can uh, either do it through um, you can either do it through Truckers MP as uh, one place we'll have and post our convoy news and location stuff, um, and try to get a little more informed on there. Um, uh, just kind of start reaching out, and we're also going to be doing stuff with Truckee too. I got a lot of stuff to tell y'all about Truckee. He's going to be offering some really awesome, sweet stuff um, that's going to be uh, far above and beyond what Trucks Book does. Uh, but at any rate. Um, if you want to, for right now, you can fill it out there on Truckers, um, on Truckers MP. Uh, you'll see us there at United Logistics. Just we'll get you in there, and then we'll send everybody in that one an invitation over to the Truckee app whenever we uh, open up VTC operations on there. What? You heard me right. Oh. Uh, I, they're different, John. I, I hate comparing trucks to these guys, man, because I know they both, you know, both these guys put hard work into it. I, I Here's here's the thing. I, I really don't know. Um, it depends on what you want. Um, you know, I think Dom's 379 is a really cool truck because it's a 79. It's a true 79. It's got a lot of customization. It's got a lot of cabs, a lot of frames. With that being said, it depends on what you really want. Um, if you wanted that more of that kind of a uh, little bit older school, that 79-ish with kind of the custom flair, but not completely, you know, decked out show truck wise, um, then maybe it's a good truck, but it's also a little bit more expensive. Um, are the updates going to come for it? Yes. Uh, I mean, everyone's hopeful for those. Um, so, I mean, it's just hard, man, to just say, well, yeah, this one's better than that one because you really don't know, you know, really don't know. I mean, it's really personal preference. I can tell you, you know, Dom's is better. And you can look at it and be like, well, I think Root is better. Well, then I'd say, well, then why'd you ask me? <laughs> I always feel like my job is not to really direct and steer you guys to a mod and to buy it. My job 
as I see it in this community, is for me to showcase this stuff with an honest viewpoint. Like, hey, this is what it is. I'm not going to tell you it's the best thing in sliced bread and that you guys are all missing out by not having this mod and that you all are a bunch of slacks for not, you know, working hard enough to be able to pay for it. I don't care. Uh, my main thing is, like, I show you everything that I can with it and you look at it and say, I like that, or I think I'll hold off. Because no amount of convincing I'm, I'm going to do convince you to buy it. Because I don't care. I'm not making anything off these mods anyway. So I could care less whether or not you buy it. I've just got it's good content to fill up on the channel uh, to where you guys can see some really good reviews of stuff and kind of just see whether or not this stuff is something that you like and you can kind of see all of it in its entirety. So that's where I view my job as. I hate giving comparisons because I just, I just don't like that. That's when you get yourself in trouble, as a few guys have already figured out. And start stepping on people's toes and start making people mad. It's just like, oh, there's no point. So somebody out there is going to love this stuff, and there's going to be someone out there that hates it. It's okay. Uh, basically, age and maturity, bad company. I mean, that's essentially it. They're really, uh, I mean, I don't want to say we have a ton of requirements, but I mean, we we get people got lives, you know. I mean, people got lives, so I mean, it's basically. Um, I, I I would say here. Here's what I'd say. Our real. I feel like what has always been our real thing has been uh, Discord, um, getting plugged in on Discord, driving, convoying. Um, you know, a lot of our guys are, we're kind of in an ETS2 kick right now. I'm doing a lot of skins for ETS2. But that'll switch over as we get some pushes for ATS, that'll switch and we'll start driving a little bit more uh, and stuff on ATS. So, I mean, really, it's just about the, the Discord was probably more important than trucks because I don't care if you drive a lot of miles. I mean, it's fine if you do. Uh, but I realize people got lives too, man. So I can't really require people to, uh, you know, I can't, I can't require them to keep up certain stuff. <laughs> South Pines. <laughs> um. So, John, let's see. Uh, you think other time will come when you see your drivers and trucks on the road? So you kind of can in some of the older, um, in some of the older mods, and I actually did a video on this. In some of the older mods with, um, uh, with uh, what's his name, with Frankenstyle, he actually included uh, your own traffic trucks. So you can make traffic truck skins for trucks and trailers, um, and then have them driving around in town. Just a lot of people don't necessarily do that. Uh, but I actually had a bunch of United Logistics trailers and stuff running around with trucks because I did his mod and then did his traffic mod that came with it. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, remember, Mega... Mega, if you want to get in the drawing for this. <laughs> it's all my fault. Well, don't say me bought them because of me. I just showed them to you. You're the one that took the drug. <laughs> I like pulling in. This, this is like pulling in at a proper Walmart right here. I mean, they straight up jacked this off Walmart. I hope Walmart don't get mad. Because right here on the back corner is going to be what? It's going to be the mechanic shop. Yeah, you that bust him. Yeah, right here would be the, uh, right there's where the mechanic shop would be in a real formal Walmart. Like, man, they straight up jacked that design off Walmart. I hope they ain't mad. <laughs> uh, it's funny. All right, when well, we don't have to completely screw you in the parking lot. All right. Let's back her up here. Let's give something away to a lucky fan out there. A lucky viewer maybe you aren't a fan you're just here for the giveaway who knows
I mean, seriously? Ser seriously? Uh, my gosh. Wow. Pretty sensitive there. Let me get that. I guess what? I guess we banged our tire up on that little, uh, on that little, uh, guide, guide post there. I'll say, because we're, we're, there we go. That's about to say, man. Woo. Who thoughts on paid mods and farm sim? Whoa. So I'm going to go out on a limb, Lamont. I'm just seeing that. I didn't see it earlier. Um, I'm going to go on a limb and say that's a waste. Um, I mean, I guess guys can do it, but here's the thing, man. There's so many talented dudes out there doing stuff for farm sim. I don't see any reason to make it to make the stuff pay where, unless you're going to offer something that's incredibly just out of this world. I mean, it, so here's the thing, and and this is this is one of those deals we can talk about with ATS as well. <clears throat> Anytime you do that and you up the level of requirement of the required skill to mod. I mean, so you think about, uh, think about two, three years ago, four years ago, where we were. I mean, Outlaws 389 was the absolute cream of the crop. There was nothing really else any better than that. There were a few other mods. People either didn't like it or didn't want to drive a Peterbilt or they didn't want to do this, didn't want to do that. Um, but, but looking at that truck now, it has a lot of date to it because materials have updated, parts have updated, ways of doing things have updated. Um, <clears throat> so um, the the... Just the, the overall look of that truck would look quite different today than it would have two years ago, three years ago. Um, and so, you know, when you bring in these mods that require the level of detail, plus either purchasing or, or taking the time to model all the details out for this stuff, make them all fit, make them fit flush. I mean, I could see them farm sim doing it, but here's the thing. There's like, I think, uh, let's see, let me, let me, let me look. Let me just give you guys a, a especially for ATS guys. Like a, a lesson in like FS mods. Let's talk about farm sim stuff. So, thank you there, adult. Appreciate that. Um, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Farm sim twenty two mods. So farm sim twenty two has been out how long? November. So we're now in almost February, but we're what three months? Three months. There are six hundred and seventy three pages of mods. Now that's just on one website. Um, that doesn't mean that all those mods are currently working. Maybe there's a multiple reiterations of those mods updated. But literally, there's 673 mods already. So let's go to FS19 mods, because those are the other ones. That's the ones where you're really starting to figure out how big FS really is. And I don't even know if I, I, don't even know if I can... Uh, uh, All right, so in FS19 mods, here we go. Make sure I'm in the right, I'm in the, got to be in the right category here. Six thousand two hundred and twenty pages of mods for FS20 uh, for FS19. Some of them have ten thousand pages, and these are pages, and each page has like nine mods on it. So, um, you know, you can do the math. Everything that you'd ever want in Farm Sim is going to be met, is going to be modded, and will be modded. Um, and and I think you know for the vast majority, um, let's go to our. I'm just going to pick out a random, you know, ATS LT. I think it's ATS Mods LT. Is a decent one. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is. I mean, it's de decent. So in all of ATS. So in all of ATS, there's only 1,600. And you would know that probably at least 1,500 of those mods are out of date. They don't work anymore. So you could go into, you know, for the vast majority, I mean, that that's the crazy part. FS19 is only, what, two and a half years old? Um, FS22 is three months old. It's got 600 pages. So you're in a totally different market than you are with ATS. So I honestly don't think that the payware guys that decide to make farm sim mods pay where they will sell them to a few but i think the vast majority it will be ripped off faster and given the community faster than anything because there's so many modders doing really really good work and i mean crazy killer work for free patreons you know whatever whatever they do it all so um yeah i don't know that that's just my that's just my my two cents on that so thank you there for god not speed appreciate that man um what's up dave dub good to see you man 
yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. Ninety percent of those are out of date. That's right. I mean, and it probably more than that. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I don't think that's going to take an FS. So, um, I, I just I don't I think the first guy that goes out there and charge twenty dollars for a tractor when you go out and download the same tractor from another guy that's ripped the same stuff off. It's going to be like it is an ETS. The problem with ATS is you don't have any other guys to challenge the payware market. Um, it's the honesty. It's uh, it's monopolized now. So, um, I mean, why should they? I mean, you know, think about it. Um, why why should they? If they're going to do a freeware mod, why should they do that? Why don't they just do the mod and then just charge, you know, 20 bucks for it? Everybody else is. Why shouldn't they? And so what you wind up running into is um, – a kind of a uh, you know a, a missing out type deal where they want to miss out on the cash being made on some of these mods and basically at that point for us for guys like myself for guys like you that are bur that are buying this stuff um, it becomes an issue where it's like okay now we've got to sift out from the people that don't really deserve to be making money on it because our mod isn't good enough it's good enough for free but it's not good enough to pay 25 30 35 dollars so there's becomes a certain kind of level that you have to hit. If you don't hit that level, then I'm sorry, you don't sell mods. You know, nobody's going to buy them off of you because they go to this guy and get the legit stuff that's real um, that, you know, actually have it. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's, uh, it is what it is. It, it's, uh, it's always been, um, uh, it's always been a very niche market, much smaller market. So, um, Farm Sims has got a lot more people watching content, a lot more people creating content, so it is what it is. What's up, Charles? Hello. Um, all right, y'all ready to do this? So let's uh, do this, man. Uh, I have not used the Toby Eye Tracker there, Pete. Um, uh, my thoughts are if as long as you can set it up right, which seems to be that you can, um, to where it tracks your head and not your eyes, so that way you can look around. But I have personally not tested one out yet, so... <laughs> so, this way you get swell. we do too Yusuf that's why we that's why we start playing ETS too man so <laughs> alright so if you have not make sure you type in mega if you've already typed it in we've already got over 100 that are eligible here if you want to put in uh, we are giving away our Shoshone uh, mega mod industrial complex mod tonight uh, we're going to give a copy of that away to somebody lucky here. So if you want to get in on that, make sure you've hit the mega, M-E-G-A. Just type it in chat. That's all you got to do. Just a keyword. Um, if you've already done it, no need to do it again. Everybody's still saved and eligible users. But if you're just coming in and you haven't typed it in yet, then go ahead and do that right now. Uh I'd, I'd probably just send you that there, Awkward Game, and I'd probably just send you that profile. It does change from time to time. It depends on the truck. I do make small adjustments depending on the truck, but I do change it up a little bit. <laughs> it might, Clint. It might. That last one was it was pretty nasty, wasn't it? I think that's when I met you was when we did that blue building drive. That was probably one of the first times I remember seeing you come in the Discord. All right, I'll give you all a few more seconds on this. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. Uh, how about we go ahead and get this going, right? All right, here we go. Let's do one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, I other reason you got a PC. That's right. And then you became like an absolute PC. Like you, 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 you fell in deep, bro. It's like way down in the bottom of that barrel. <laughs> oh man, it's all good though. Good stuff. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's get a drawing in here, and lucky winner is one, two, three, go. Space, space has won the giveaway. New guy to chat. Congratulations, there, buddy. We're off the back end right there, man. Right? 
Yeah, man. <laughs> Keep your footprint small. That's cool, man. It's all good, man. Congratulations there, buddy. We'll just um uh so the easiest way to do this, at least for this one, will be uh hop in Discord and uh we can throw you all the Discord stuff out there. Um let's see, I'll do that right quick. Um so there will be the Discord will pop up here in just a minute. Uh, go ahead and click that and join it if you haven't joined it yet. And just right-click up there at mine and send a message to me. Um, <laughs> congrats, whatever. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's so funny, man. It would come full circle, Clint. We just delete the pictures. I don't really say anything anymore. I'm like, Meh. <laughs> Um do I have a promo section? No, I mean, not really, Captain. I mean, if you want to share pictures and stuff out, I mean, that's totally cool. Like, people think it's a, it's a trucking Discord, but it's not. It's just my Discord. It just happened to be playing trucking right now. So, uh, so yeah, if you want to you wanna share pictures and stuff on that. We just don't do YouTube videos just because if one person does it. We got 5,000 in Discord now. So, if one person does it, you know, then everybody's going to do it. So, we just limit the YouTube videos out. But if you want to share, you know, pictures and all that kind of stuff, totally cool, man. No problem with me. Um, and that goes for anybody else. You know, feel free to share what you want to in Discord. As long as it's gaming, it's it, I'm cool with it, man. I'm, I'm you know, we're we're not we just like to keep things organized so people know where stuff is. People get mad at us, get mad at the mods, you know. I'm like, no, we're just trying to keep it organized, man. So you come in here and you got a problem, you can find something. It's not just an absolute just complete spaghetti wire mess of just absolute destruction. <laughs> because sometimes, man, I've been in a few discords, I'm like, wow, this is hard to this is hard to sift through. This is very overwhelming. <laughs> so congrats again there to Space Man. If you want to uh, just uh, hit me up in Discord, and then I will uh, just say, hey, man, won the, won the giveaway tonight. I will get up with him. He's in Germany, so I will send him a message. I probably will not get that message back from him until tomorrow. Um, and then uh, probably get like an email, I think, or actually there'll be a code. He'll generate a code to his cell phone store. And then you'll put that code in there, put your email, uh, check if you want to get updates and all that good stuff, and then pew, it's going to come and come right back to you, all right? And it's instantaneous, so uh, we'll do that. And then Farmer, I'm not going to forget about you, man. I need to I'll contact um, KI here tonight after stream. So other than that, man, um, I, yeah, Pete, I might be able to do that. I'll go in there and find out where it's at. I'm, I mean, I might uh, – I mean, if you just want to send me a DM, most people don't even really want mine. They kind of do their own. But if you want mine to kind of start off with as a, as a point, just send me a DM, dude. I'll send it to you. I don't care. Ah, uh, well, no problem, Clint. I mean, I you know, listen, I I give at least people, at least uh, some people, I give them at least a second chance. It depends on what they did, man. <laughs> I mean, it depends on what they did. Some sometimes, man, some of them go too far, and then you're like, nah, man. <laughs> Ace the driver, what's up, bud? How are you, man? You could draw some house party jokes, yes. <laughs> um. Um, so Alan, so I reach out to, um, reach out to him and, um, uh, if it's an email you got it from, if he did it through Facebook before he did sell fi then he'll need to generate a code for you so that you can have it, but he'll have a record of that. So just, I would contact, um, I would contact Daniel and just let him know that he got, oh, you want it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Uh, let me notate that. Let me notate that down. Uh, and then I will, um, cause what'll happen, he'll have to generate a code for you and then you can buy it from the cell phone that way you can get the updates. So I'll see if I can communicate that to him. All right. Um, let's see. And it's probably what happened was he had those links originally there for Facebook, but then, you know, but then he had to, he had to backdoor that whenever he got over the cell phone store. So, cause I'm sure all that stuff is server based. Uh, Newcastle. All right. All right. I'll do that. Uh, I can see you there, twelve pack. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Just just maybe send me a Discord and, and remind me of that, Alan. And we'll, we can go from there, man. It's it's Q. Um. Yeah, no problem, man. All right, cool. Well, congrats to Space. And let me throw some shout-outs here real quick and get out of here for tonight. I uh, hope you guys have a great uh, start of your week here. 
Uh, we will be back here in the middle of this week, uh, at least in my plan is anyway. Uh, I want to feature in, uh, we got Johnny Cash set up here on a truck. Um, so we'll be rolling his stuff, uh, or at least a couple of his things, uh, one night. And then uh, and then probably this night in, uh, let's see, what, let's see, this week, probably next week. Next week we'll start featuring in some uh, racing stuff. So um, I've just decided that, you know, things are kind of slow right now. we got a few things coming up, but things are kind of slow. It's a really good time to just kind of throw some other things in there. Um, we'll do some racing. I'll probably also do some road racing and as well as um, some NASCAR stuff. So uh, if you see the iRacing stuff, like come come check it out because I'm I think I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll like it. Um, it do it full three wide with the camera up top. It's cool and you know, switch between the different camera views. Um, it's actually it's 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 really I think it's good. I think it views well. It's nice. You got all the stats and all the stuff you need to see up there. Uh, but well, anyway, we'll um, kind of look at that here probably next week because I only got, what, two and a half weeks before Daytona. Um, and then there'll be some other road race stuff that I want to start in as well uh, here for the new season. So yeah, it'd be cool, man. So anyway, uh, we'll also be looking for some other news here from uh, some of these other guys like Ruta when he wants to throw his updates up and get that stuff going. Um, so we'll, uh, we got, we got, we got a few things here to look forward to, but, uh, also we're going to be getting out some more ETS2 content and I'm working on the last mods put together for a little pack that we can start doing like your, we're going to call them ASMR videos. Not really, but our, um, CB only, you know, chit chat videos on the uh, stuff that actually was a lot of fun. We got some more of that coming as well. I'm going to try to record some of that tonight if I can, but anyway, uh, you guys have a, uh, y'all have a wonderful uh, rest of your night. Space, congrats. Thanks to, uh, let's see, hang on, let me get my last shout-outs here. Uh, thanks to Jordan, appreciate it, man. Lucky 13, Cody on with Super Chats there, Jane Raptor as well. Uh, Sartana, 1886, thank you for your Super Chat, man. No no Super Chats necessary from you, but I certainly do appreciate it, bud. Uh, Jamal Tyson, Kevin McCurry, thank you all for y'all's 10. Scott Sven, thank you, Eric, for the 5. And Sniffles, there for the 10, and also becoming a member. Appreciate that, man. And we also had a bunch of other guys here resubbed right up before uh, the stream got started. I didn't get a chance to shout you guys out, but I'm sure that was the, the automatic stuff kicking in. But thank you guys very much. Appreciate that. Uh, as always, you guys have a great rest of your night, and then we'll uh, we'll see you here again this week. All right. So y'all take it easy. We'll see you. Boogie to boogie. We'll see you guys.